fam so i am logged in to the live mfc auction we're only on lot five um my pc is acting up i'm actually trying to get a new pc uh, a new laptop so i don't know if this kicks off and i get views that's the first thing i'm getting uh but uh, we're gonna watch the auction we're gonna leave this one and then we're gonna wait for the next one and then what i'm going to do is that i'm gonna run it alongside the map that we had yesterday to see what the final number that the person would actually be paying is right let me make this a bit smaller okay so for this one you see how the bid increment is going down um So it is a brown JMC Landwind. Okay, actually, let's just wait for the next one because I'm struggling to situate myself here. Right. I hope you can still see. Yeah. All right, that's actually fine. All right, so we've got a 2017 Nissan NP200, 139,000 on the dashboard, registered in 2018. We've got the folds. So it started at 50,000, that's the bid, right? Um, it's at 58, estimated trade value is 97. We're going to find, but basically show what the actual bid uh, is going to cost at the end, what the person is actually going to win, or not, not win, pay. The person who won the bid, what they're actually going to pay at the end, like we discussed yesterday, remember? So they're at 68,000 now, so it's been sold for 68, so they bid 68. They're actually going to be paying 80,000, which is actually more um, than the amount it was, the trade in value, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly. All right, so this one, the estimated trade is 139. Let's see. So they started at 80K, right? So it's going up in 1,000. That increment is 1,000 now. So the auctioneer has gone down from his initial 2,000. They're on 87 now. Okay, let's see. They're still below the 139, so it's still good. They're on 88 now. Let's see if there are any more takers there. Current bid amount reverted, so that guy changed, or girl changed his mind, his or her mind. We're on 90,000 now. Let's see what that looks like. 107,000. We're still below the 139, which is the estimated trade value. Where are we now? We're on 90,000. Still on 90,000, going once, going twice. Oh, this is so exciting. Is it going to land on 90,000? Let's see. They need 91,000. Okay, so that's the reserve price. I'm so happy we got to that. An example like that. That's the reserve price. That's the minimum number that NetBank is willing to take in order to consider this a sale. So it varies, right? It's difficult to calculate. I'm not sure what they use to calculate what, what that number is. Okay, so lot eight is unsold because the last bid was 90K. They didn't get to 91K. We're at the Chev now. So the Chev is worth 73 and they've started at 39,000. Let's actually figure out what the max is. Let me say 50, right? We still have, let's say 55. 65, let's say 58, let's say 59, let me say 60. Right, so ideally this person should go just above 61,000 um, in order to be under the estimated trade value. They had 54, let's see. That's 73. They sold for 54, brilliant, still well under. Because, yeah, at 54. They sold, they got in at 93. Oh no, that's a separate one. Oh, this thing is going so fast. All right, so the estimated trade value is 93,000. Let's see what their max should be. Let's say 50. Let's say 70. Let's say 75. Uh, 76. Okay, 77. A case of the polo sold for 50 brilliant that's way under where we should be all right we're gonna do one or two more i'm actually at work today to the left to the left all right 
261, we've started at 140. That's 14,000. We're at 167, we still have time. Let me say 150. I know they're going to get there at least. They still good at 150, still well below the 261, right? So the bid amount is what I'm putting in there, and then we're trying to be below the 261. Remember, like we discussed yesterday. Okay, let's see if they get to 150. Let's see, let's see, let's see. They need 148,500. Again, we're getting to a case where there's a reserve price. Today's interesting. Right, as you can see here, 64 people are online, number of visitors, um, that's my internet connection. So you must make sure that if you are bidding, you are in a place with a stable internet connection. We're still at 148, they need 148, 500. Didn't make it, lot is unsold. Right, okay, so we're doing, let's do the last one. So 2015 VW Polo, 172,000 Ks on the dashboard, suspension lowered. I don't know, is that good or bad? Tell me, tell me in the comments, is that good or bad? We're at 80,000. We need to get to below, or we need to remain below 139. Let's see if they get to 85, are they still good? They are. Where are they now? Where are they now? Where are they now? Sold for 82, brilliant. That's a real bargain, 97 versus 139 trade. Okay, let's do the last one. This Nissan Navara. I'm waiting for my code to run. <laughs> uh, so the Nissan Navara is there 180. So you see how the minimum bid was 190, but then when no one bought, they went down to 180. They're at 180. We're trying to stay below the 283. Let's see what happens if they get to 185. Still below. We're at 221, which is still below the 283. Let's see. We're at 188. Let me see what 190 looks like. 227. We're still good. We're still good. 194. Ooh. Let's say 200. That's where we're going. 200. Still good. 239. We're still saving about 43k. That's significant. That's something. I mean, I could go to Thailand for 43. We'll go to Thailand and come back and have a good time. They sold it for 198. That is brilliant. A nice bargain. Whoa. I added a zero there, didn't I? Yeah, brilliant. All right. Um, so that's basically how it works. This is how the math works. No one has said anything in terms of if it's if I'm missing anything. So please let me know if you do. But I'm fresh now. It's like 11 a.m. So I'm I'm like 100% confident in my math. Um, but yeah, so this is the math I ran, and then this is the bird history, the people that you see. So you would be allocated a number, and uh, so these people are on the floor, which means they're physically at MFC in Kempton Park. And uh, if you're not, then you get a number, and then it says where you are, Northwest Province, or Gauteng, or wherever. Um, and you, ideally, you would have read up on the car beforehand, like I showed yesterday. And today you're just participating. These are just brief notes, but you should have seen and gone through the decor report and you should have done your maths, which is what we're speaking to here. But uh, yeah, otherwise check out my previous video for more information on how we got to this, uh, etc., and how the math maths and how we got to that. And if you are in the auction or you have been in the auction, please drop your comments below so that I can know what your thoughts were, are these videos helpful, should I do more, what else should I be tackling. Um, so the vision is basically financial hacks and money matters for young, uh, uh, young people in South Africa. So if there's anything I'm missing, anything that you'd like me to cover, please let me know. Thank you.